Hey guys, I'm going to talk for a bit about how to name benzenes with ortho, meta, and para substituents. Now benzenes are kind of cool in that it's a six carbon ring with three double bonds. But rather than calling it uh, cyclohex 135 triene, we just call it a benzene and we know that this is the structure of it. So the question once we've called it a benzene is what's attached to it? In all of these cases, it's two chloro substituents. This one here, if we called this carbon one, would be one, two dichlorobenzene. This next one would be one, three dichlorobenzene. And this next one would be one, one, two, three, four dichlorobenzene. But scientists along the way came up with another way to name these. If the two substituents are right beside each other on the benzene, like carbon, carbon, and there's something sticking out of both of them, we call that ortho. And rather than saying one, two, we just call it O, dichlorobenzene. Now there's still a hyphen in there, but the O means that the two chloros are right beside each other. If the chlorines are separated by a carbon, so one, two, three, it's not the chlorines aren't right next to each other. There's another carbon there. It actually has a hydrogen sticking out of it. And they're separated by one. We call that meta. So this is M-dichlorobenzene. 1,3-dichlorobenzene, perfectly great name. M-dichlorobenzene, also acceptable. And if they're directly across from each other on the molecule, aka they're separated by two other carbons. We call that para. This is para dichlorobenzene. Uh oh, I'm gonna run out of room. Good enough. So we've got ortho if they're right beside each other, meta if they're separated by one, and para if they are right across from each other. Let's name some molecules together for practice. Let's start with this one. Here we have a benzene, so we'll start with that name. And we have a methyl group and a methyl group sticking out of both here. So this is going to be a dimethylbenzene. But where, how are we going to tell people where the methyl groups are? We could say 1, 3, but I would rather say M because they're separated by one carbon. Here we have what's clearly a benzene. And we have a methyl group and a propyl group sticking out of it. So I'm going to call it methylpropyl. There are no spaces here, that's just me with poor planning. And how am I going to say how far apart the two substituents are? One, two, three, they're directly across from each other. So that's para. Para methylpropyl benzene. And finally, you can probably guess where this is going. This one's a benzene as well. We've got one, two, three, four, five carbon substituents sticking out of both ends. So that makes this a dipental, pent meaning five. And they're right beside each other, which means ortho. Hey, beautiful. Easy to name. All you have to do is figure out how far apart the substituents are, and often you can just look at it. And just remember, this is the official IUPAC name, I believe, but this is also acceptable. Hey, best of luck in your benzene naming adventures.